If you and I just went out and told somebody that the U.S. broke their record of temperature by an average of one degree or greater, they would say, well, that's really not all that much. But you and I both know as scientists, a one degree change in that record is huge. Is there any way to quantify that? It was really, really dramatic that super warm March and we had other warm periods during the year were just so outside the normal historical experience that they really dominated the record. Here's another statistic that really blew me away. You know, in an average year, we would expect to see about the same number of record high temperatures as record low temperatures. But in the U.S. in 2012, 84% of the temperature records were highs. Only 16% were record lows. Let's talk a little bit about the climate game here and, 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 and where we're at with it uh, as, as a society. I mean, are more people on board with, yes, the climate is warming, or are they saying, well, not really, I can't notice any change? I think that the extreme events we saw in 2012 have been extremely important for people's perception. That ranges from the horrifying wildfires in Colorado to the worst drought since the 1930s in the middle of the country to Hurricane Sandy on the East Coast. We don't know specifically that any of those events was caused by climate change, but those are exactly the kinds of events that are becoming a, a greater risk in a changing climate. Thank you for your time, sir. I really appreciate it.